Yes, sir. Now, on another note, though, Wick, you know, uh, just recently they were saying that the killer of Nipsey Hussle, Eric Holder, was sentenced to like 60 years in prison, man. I think that was too that that wasn't enough time. Did you see his face, by the way? It looked like somebody got a hold to him. Well now that somebody, happened during the trial. He got beat up during the trial. Who beat him? Uh the inmates in the prison. They beat him oh, during the trial. It, it was the inmates. Yeah. Yeah. Or oh, was they, it the COs? I don't know. I, I think it might have been the inmates. Somebody beat they, they, they had to put some staples well, in the head. Well, you know what? Head. It's a little bit of both, because they, they you know the COs turned the head to that. And and he should have had his ass whooped. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't sit there. I don't think that no black life is, you know, when you when you when you take a life, especially like you said, a person that's 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 don't made it out trying to get back to so many people. It don't mean that Nipsey wasn't still banging. I don't know him personally. I don't know what he was doing when the cameras went off. If he was, you know, what I'm saying fucking hoes and slamming cat like those. Come on. But what thing that I do know is that he had done made it out. And I'm the type of guy that if one of us make it out, Brad, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? I've just always been the guy that's, I'm happy for you. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Um, and so for him to, you know, take this man's life um, like he did, or somebody that's trying to, you know, make a change in the community, you know, I think he deserves that. I, I would, if I was the judge presiding over that case right there, it would have been hard for me after watching that video, yeah. then kicking the man in the head after you don't shot him that many times. It would have been hard for me not to give him the death penalty. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It would have been very hard for me to say, you know what? You killed him like that right there. You, you shitted on him like that. So I'm going to do the same thing to you. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because even with 60 years, it's a possibility he might get out when he's 70, 80. You understand what I'm saying? And, and you don't took so much more from us. You know, I, I, I said all the time, what could a person could have been? What could takeoff could have been? Yeah. What could this person could have been had you not took it in your own hands to just snuff him out because the nigga called you a, he going back to what we were talking about, about a snitch. Yeah. Call you so so that's why I say you have to know who you dealing with yeah. when you are dealing with people because they had a prior relationship. Yeah. You have to know where a person stands. So that's why I say with the with the going back to the Boosie and Tip, I don't neither one of them are wrong to me. You know, Boosie stands on that's his ideology. He stands on that. There is no snitching. I don't care who it is, what it is. I can respect. It. I can't hang with you yeah. because what, because if somebody do something to me and come up in my house and do something to my children, you ain't gonna tell me if you know about yeah. it. So you're not the type of guy that I want to run with. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? But Eric Holder might have felt that same kind of way. Uh, you know, you can do anything to me, but call me a snitch. You know that just that whole Nipsey Hustle and Eric Holder situation never sat right with me. Right. Uh, I think it's deeper than what we know. I feel like you know because that's the other part too, man. It's like okay, so don't start the conspiracy theories behind. Well, I'm not about Do that, not go sound not like this. Conspiracy. Okay. I'm gonna just say that you know black life and just the mentality of folks has been diminished so damn far to where you can't say nothing to nobody now. You can't even say nothing. Without somebody trying to kill you? That's true. You see what I'm saying? It shouldn't be you getting triggered like, damn that. The way you got to do me like that just for even calling you a snitch. It ain't that damn serious, y'all. That's my whole point. It's not that damn serious. It might not be that serious to you. But it's ser- it's that serious to a guy that's you know that's got a hundred dollars in his pocket and he's staying in a trap house with a, a hundred other gang members that all think the same way that he thinks and that's his only livelihood. So a snitching tag t- strips away anything that he has his whole life. Your life a snitching a, mix, a person calling you a snitch doesn't stop anything. You still gonna be able to go down there and buy the twenty piece wings. You still gonna got them coming here at work and interview the, the top of the line celebrities. But when you when you're talking to a person, that's all that he has to stand on, and you call him a snitch, you just snatch the rug from up under him. He has nothing else to stand on. And See, that's so you gotta understand right where a now, person I, is. And I totally get that. And that's why we go back to education. Go get your ass a damn education so you ain't got to be sitting around here with a hundred damn niggas in the trap house with a hundred dollars to split, looking crazy, and somebody doing something illegal, and then somebody snitch, and then everybody going to hell because you a snitch. Go go to Atlanta Air Tech, 
Just like I did. I did some time to let her learn how to do some carpentry. Yeah, but you got but 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 you got but you got all your I fa- I'm you, gonna build me a house still, if I need to. Still, Damn but, the but uh, everybody else can't do that, be how you No, you can yourself, go and get you you can every, learn how to do there some are carpentry. People that are a lot slower than you. It, it, I used to tell my brother this. My brother is a beast with uh and and I wanna shout out him a little bit later. But my brother is a beast when it comes to to uh mechanic stuff. Me yeah. and Don, Don will tell you that. He just he would come over with with a five hundred pound air tank or something and expect me and Don to be able to pick the we up there you know back going out you know or expect the hey man y'all should know how to pull an engine out on a on a on a, on a chassis or y'all should be able to change the spark. that ain't what that ain't our specialty yep. when I look at an engine it's foreign to me now I know if I want a four fifty in my car yep. you know what I'm saying I know if I want dual exhaust or hey man add this to me but everybody's not a computer specialist everybody can't get on there. And type a thousand words a minute, so be able to say that he should be able to just be a carpenter. That's actually dissing carpenters. If everybody could be a carpenter, we would all be carpenters. It, well, it's a talent. Well, now it's back t- in the day, folks ain't got no choice. If you go into the middle of the Amazon with the Amazon well, people, if you don't know how to build that damn hut, you don't even get a chance to go into manhood. Well, what if what if what if this man, you know, mother or father, or son was heroin addicts? What if he didn't even, his brain didn't even develop all the way? You're assuming that he has the capacity to be able to go sit down in a college somewhere even as a crack and learn queen, something. Mama, you always was a black queen, what? Mama. <laughs> you be killing Tupac, me off. Tupac, your favorite rapper of all time was, said Tupac that his mama was, was doing educa- crack, Tupac but was, he was able to become Tupac's Shakur. Tupac, so that didn't stop Tupac, him. Mama and dad were, were very educated people. They, you know what I'm saying? So they they don't be p- trying to say that just because somebody on crack, they ain't educated. I'm not saying that you twisted my well, words. You, you always said. trying to remix what I then said. Which one is you it? always trying to remix what it I said. Went, it went, now, it I, didn't, I didn't say that. What I said is you don't you never know the capacity of a person just to assume that they can go out and do what you did or Don did or I did or, or, or anybody did, that's 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 ridiculous. Well, that's, my whole thing anybody is, cannot sit up here right now. Be I know it seems simple. Hey, man, you can get out. You can get your own channel. You kick that shit all the time. You can do your own channel. <laughs> and you, this little boy okay, right here. How long you did be, it take to get wicked monetized? It yeah, didn't take because, them long. Yeah, but I now wasn't. It's on you how far you want to go. I wasn't doing this though. I'm saying to assume that a person can get up here and do exactly what you do and be successful at it is ridiculous. Everybody, That's like assuming and, that my baby, just because they born not knowing how to read or write, they ain't gonna never be able to learn how to read and write. Some people can't now, read and write. There were can't, great people. Some but people they, they can't. but most folks are gonna be able to learn how to read and write. Most people. Well, what if he was? That's in that, if you go into school. What if he was in that three percent that couldn't? You don't know how slow Eric Holt is. You're a Assuming that he what he did, he did this out of being he was smart. He had other options. There are people that feel like and there and some that really don't have other options behind. That's all I'm saying. I'm not making an excuse for him for what he did. Well, now I feel where you coming but from. What with I'm that, saying, but what I'm saying is, you saying that okay. Uh, so he called him a snitch. He could have, you know, he could have dusted that off and went right back to to, to Crenshaw and Slauson or wherever he's from with all the OGs on the block. That that's what he has built his name and his legacy off of being a stand up guy. And that's his the life was right being there. jeopardy by a guy as powerful as Nipsey Hussle calling you a snitch. You, if you see what they did to him in jail right now. What happens if 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 a, a guy's powerful to snips and puts that out on the on the streets with me? Where am I gonna go? But see, that's the other issue in our community. We find ourselves valuing the wrong thing. Absolutely, I you agree. See what I'm saying? We I agree. valuing our street credit, but that street credit is not gonna get you what the hell. It, it ain't gonna give you the credit that you need to get your car in your house. I agree with that. You see what I'm saying? So it it's did like, with some people. It did. We have sit here. That's why I like to bring in the you know the the the, the uh, ex king pins this and they tell their story. People, I wonder why they bringing them in. They glorify. No, we're not. What we doing? We bringing them in to show that there are people that. That you know that they some some people were smart and they did it because they wanted to, but some people that's the only choice that they had. I know kingpins that don't got out and they can't make any money any kind of other way. Yep. They struggle every day by going back to the game, man. You know, I tried to do this right here, I tried to do that, but only thing that I'm good at that I know that I'm definitely good at is whipping work. Or but see, sell, this is the this thing about the game and the way this world is set up. This world is set up for everybody to live a minimalist life, and what I mean by that is. You go to school, you go to college, even if you go and get your four-year degree, once you graduate, you 
be you lucky if you're making over fifty thousand. You lucky if you get a career in the degree that you got. You lucky if you even get a damn job. Okay. 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 You go get your house and the mortgage. You got to pay that for thirty years. So mm-hmm. guess what? Now you in slavery for another thirty years. Okay. okay. To the system where you got to keep a job. At the end of the day, when you look at that Instagram and you see folks with a lot of jewelry, you seeing folks with a lot of money, a few folks with a lot of women. And a, that's not the reality of it all, okay? okay? How many times have you seen folks pass around the same bands to everybody? How many times have folks shared the same clothes, the same cars, the same everything? So what happens is the reality of the world has people jaded to where they can't even live a regular life. So if I'm doing the podcast with... I could look up and I could say, oh, man, all of these other podcasts got millions and billions of views. Oh, my God. Most of them paying for a lot of that stuff. But though, that's, that's my whole thing. point. If I'm not aware of that, I could let that eat me alive. But by me knowing, okay, yeah, it's tricks to the trade, it's rules to the game, it's money that could be spent, it's different things that you could do. I understand that, okay, it don't even make no sense for me to even stress about nothing because I know because the game. You have a, you, because you have a... A, a uh, mind that is stable. There are people out here that don't have a stable mind. Oh, I know that. I know half that. the people, half the people that are in prison have mental disability. They don't function. They 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 are short wired. If one spark plug or wire come out your car, that can shut the whole engine down. The car doesn't perform the same. You assuming that a person is wired the same way you ought to have the capacity to be able to dif- uh, differentiate the two. Well, you know what? That shouldn't bother me. I can go do this right here. There are people that are Wired fucked up. Some people are wired right. You understand what I'm saying? So, so they chemical, they chemical imbalance. They, they have a chemical imbalance, and they look at it differently. It is what they don't overthink it. You understand what I'm saying? Why would that person do this? Why would that woman sleep with ten guys? Some of them will do it out of a necessity to pay for college, but some of them just like the fight. Yeah. Well, no, I feel you. You know, they wired fucked up. I know women that are wired that 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 that'll be sitting in front of you, bro, and. And laughing and start talking to themselves. I'm like, oh Lord, I gotta get up out of here. Mother, you know, go to answering their own questions and shit. Oh uh, shit, I, I'm thinking about Robin Wick. Do you know that I'm right here sitting right here, girl, that you're sitting right there <laughs> oh, saying I'm thinking about Robin Wick? Oh, I didn't say that. Damn. You did say it. I got no camera. People are wired uh, differently because you're assuming that Eric Holder, getting back to the subject, is wired correctly and snitching should not have hurt him. But if a person is wired, go in jail. Go to that Rice Street, go up on the seventh floor, and say some of the stuff to people that you think they look. They got ten, to- ten fingers, ten toes. They look like me and you, but you say one thing, and they can't let they see red. Yeah, they can't, they can't, they can't compartmentalize certain uh, things, and they don't know how to deal with. It. So they deal with it. They're gonna cut your throat. But see, that's the thing about it. You ain't got to be a criminal to see red. Absolutely, you but, see what you, I'm but you have a mechanism that once you start seeing red, that kicks in and say, okay, be high. It wasn't that serious. Let's tone this down. Take a time out. You got some people, they don't have that switch. I it keeps that. going. They don't, have a, they don't have brakes on the car. Yeah. So they yeah. don't, they, they, only way they're going to stop is to run into the building. Damn. You got brakes. So you can see, oh, damn, I'm doing 100. I'm doing yeah. a little bit too much. Yeah. Let me yeah. slow it down a little bit. Yeah. Let me slow it down. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Some people don't have brakes on their mind. 